This is Necrostevo and you're watching one of my narrated Wi-Fi battle videos. Now I know it has been quite a while since I have posted anything, so first of all thank you all for staying subscribed and for checking out the new content that I have. Uh, life has kind of really put me through the ringer here recently, so it's, it's really nice just to be back uploading. Um, if you notice any difference in sound quality, I did save up and get a brand new microphone, so if you like the quality, this is the Nessie Blue microphone. Thank you Best Buy for actually price matching so I could save a good bit of money. Um, and today's match is actually going to be a singles match that I had against Isaiah Watts. And uh, it was just, I just kind of had random things in my battle box because I was on a losing streak, but I wanted to try out new things. Um, I've bred several new things. So in this battle, we're actually going to get to see quite a few of the new things that I've bred as well. So, um, he's going to start off with uh, his Neuvern, which I actually expected to be his lead. So I actually ended up leading out with my Assault Vest Rhyperior. Now in this battle, we're going to get to see Rhyperior take a lot of hits. And we also get to kind of see how um, one person can bluff items versus the other person. Now the way that he plays this Neuvern, I think that it's actually uh, Scarfed. He ends up switching directly onto Ferrothorn at the beginning of the battle. I expected him to switch, expecting a rock type move. Um, and he actually goes on to Ferrothorn. So that means I take a good bit of recoil from touching the iron bars and the rocky helmet. But that's okay because I force him out into Mandy Buzz, who does not want to take a rock type attack. And I'm able to get off a little bit more damage on Ferrothorn. Now, here expecting him to go for Stealth Rocks, I bring out my Zoroark, which is disguised as Wigglytuff, to try to bait in. Um, some Pokemon here, but he actually just goes right on to Manny Buzz, making a pretty safe play. And uh, of course, Zorark has the Life War, while my Wigglytuff has the Pixie Plate. That's what we'll be able to tell in this battle. Um, but uh, I like disguising Zorark as Fairy types because then it discourages people from going for Fighting type moves. But that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to set up some entry hazards with Skarmory. If he had Defog on his Manny Buzz, I wanted to force him to go for it. And if he didn't have it, uh, I could get up some entry hazards, which will help whittle down the Mega Mawile that he has packing in the back there. And I don't really have anything to deal with Mawile besides Skarmory. And so since Skarmory is out, it's unlikely that he will switch out on the Mega, Mega Mawile and try to set up. So that's a good time to set up entry hazards. Now here I expected him to switch out into Ferrothorn, expecting me to go for either a Rock type move or the Dragon Tail again. And so I just went straight for Earthquake and I am able to 2 hit KO from that range. Um, Shoutouts to uh, Silent... Uh, Omen X on Twitter, or Omen if you listen to Strategy Radio, I was listening to him talk about Assault Vest right here and how well it can take hits, and uh, I have a build that can take uh, Hydro Pump from an offensive Rotom Wash while still being able to take stuff like Close Combat from a Mega Lucario, while still being able to 2 it KO things uh, with Earthquake. So it's, it's a really weird build, but I find that it works. And it worked out pretty well right there just because I was able to take off a rock horn. Now we see Mandy Buzz come out again against Skarmori. I figured that it had knockoff, but I didn't really care about that. Again, I really just wanted to get up some entry hazards. And since my Mandy Buzz does have Sturdy, um, I decided to go for a Rooster just to get back into Sturdy range. If he did decide to defog later, if he has it, then I could easily have Sturdy available because he would get rid of his own Stealth Rocks. Now here I switch out into my Cradley Tunna Cup. Uh, I really just wanted to set up Stealth Rocks. I knew it would probably allow his Mawile to come in for free, but that's okay because I figured we've both been playing relatively safe in some instances and pretty aggressive in others. So here I figure he might actually switch out and he actually does double switch out. I did make the safe play and go back into Skarmory. I didn't want him setting up Sword Stance or Substitute in my face. Um, but that's just because I can easily switch out into Rhyperior. And this whole battle I was scouting for whether or not he had Focus Blast and he saved it for right there. That was pretty annoying because I didn't think that he had it. If I had thought he had it, I would have definitely switched out into Wigglytuff. 
um, here. I figured Gengar might be switching in, but I also thought, okay, it's way too obvious to leave in Wigglytuff here. I'm gonna stay in and go for a Thunderbolt. But he actually just goes straight for the Sludge Bomb and KOs me, so that was, <laughs> he definitely called my bluff right there. That was not a good play. Uh, he actually is able to get off a lot of damage with Shadow Ball, and Brave Bird is not going to be able to finish him off. I need to save Skarmori for Mega Mawile, so I'm going to go out into Zoroark one more time. Uh, this is a really weird Zoroark build because it has a, a lot of attack EVs for Sucker Punch and U-Turn to actually do some damage. And then there's the residual amount in special attack, so that can actually do damage with Flamethrower. Um, so a very strange build, but it works. It still hits very, very hard with Sucker Punch is the main thing, and we'll get to see more of that later. Now here we have Mega Mawile come out again. Iron Head is able to finish off Skarmori, but I'm hoping that um, I can scare him out by him not being able to do enough damage with um, his Sucker Punch, because obviously Salamence will outspeed. Now he does go back out into his uh, Mandibuzz, and that I'm not doing any damage to the darn Mandibuzz, and this is why Mandibuzz is so good. It can take hits very well from both sides of the spectrum, being immune to sleep and other spore moves with Overcoat, and not take residual damage from weather. Mandibuzz has definitely gotten a huge buff this generation. Uh, and here is my own downfall. I actually decided not to have Toxic on this Crowd Elite. Uh, I believe I traded it from... Renato on Twitter, which is why it's in that really snazzy Pokeball right there. Uh, getting Pokeballs from 4th generation and then rebreeding them in 6th gen has been a fun little project of mine. But uh, I mainly wanted a Cradley that had access to Stealth Rocks, is why I was using this one. And I was hoping eventually to get the boost from Ancient Power somewhere in there, because he's going to knock off my leftovers. I'm going to be taking all this damage from Toxic. It's just not a good look. Um, I do live the knockoff there. I was expecting to die to that knockoff. Uh, and so I kind of just clicked the random move. Should have gone for the Ancient Power. But it's going to end up working out because he does end up um, having me KO'd with his health not at the full range. And so I'm able to finish him off with an Outrage there being boosted by the Dragon Fang item. Uh, I did not think I was going to be able to KO him, but that worked out really, really well. Now I am locked into Outrage. So that allows Mega Mawile to come in here and easily take me out. But that's okay, because I have saved enough HP on my Zoroark for two Sucker Punches. Unfortunately, he still has his Noivern left that we saw at the very beginning of the match. Um, and I kind of misplayed because I didn't think he had Focus Blast. But I am able to get the moral victory here, showing that I did plan for this contingency kind of here at the end with Zoroark. But with the Stealth Rocks up, I am going to miss out on one more Sucker Punch, which is what I needed against Noivern. But with the Stealth Rocks and the Entry Hazards, I was able to finish off the Darmanitan and the Mawile, both with Sucker Punches. So that was a pretty good battle. I did misplay a little bit with Wigglytuff and Rhyperior, but I still enjoyed the match is the main thing. Uh, so you guys can certainly expect more content from me now that I've kind of figured out my schedule a little bit more. I have a couple of job interviews coming up. Hopefully those will go somewhere. I, I, I think that I, I am actually a very strong interviewer. But the thing that I've been getting back recently is do not hire orders on positions that I was being considered for. So it's just like they were never there to begin with. Kind of annoying. Just saying. But uh, if you guys are going to Dragon Con in Atlanta next weekend, I will be there. So feel free to look for me. I will be dressing up as the Black Panther from Marvel, hopefully. Uh, assuming I can finish pulling this costume together in the next week. Uh, and I will definitely have more content up on Friday or Saturday, depending on my work schedule so i hope you all enjoyed this battle video if you did be sure to let me know in the com comments and i will talk to you all later all right bye bye now